What up, guys? Hope everything's going well. Alright, I, I wanted to do this video on this clown world that we're living in right now. The political system's a mess. The financial system is a mess. Even though I'm quite bullish for the next few years on stocks, precious metals, collectibles. You know, we, we had a game stock. It went from $19 earlier this month and what, after hours, $200? Because all these short sellers got squeezed? I mean, these type of things don't happen in a rational market. I mean, you could argue a few years ago there was this stock, I think it's some dry ship Baltic stock. It went from like a few dollars to a hundred dollars and then it came crashing down. And regardless, you know, in a normal, healthy, functioning market, you do short, see short squeeze, but not to this level. And it's obviously due to the Federal Reserve printing all this monopoly money. And, you know, speaking of clown world, I mean, look at some of these cards that I bought. You know, I bought this uh, Michael Jordan PSA. Uh, it's a sticker from 1988. You know, I don't think it's Jordan's best sticker card. Uh, but, you know, I bought it for like 15 bucks shipped from eBay. And right now, because of all the stimulus checks that they're giving people, people are just bidding them up and trying to flip them. And this card right now, I believe, would be a few hundred bucks. It's getting that crazy where we have cards, collectibles, with high population size, in my opinion, like 5,600. So for 200 bucks, sure it's a second year Jordan, but you know, at the same time, it's you know too much supply. As of right now, the demand exceeds the supply, which is leading to the increase in price. But there will be a day of reckoning. Some people will be hold, holding their bag that are flipping. And you know, I was doing this before you know this bubble that was forming. Even though I'm still bullish on cards you know, throughout the rest of my life, there will be times where, you know, you're going to see crashes like of Bitcoin when it went from 20,000 to, what, 3,000. And, yeah, Bitcoin has recovered all of its losses. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're not in a rational market. And that gets me to think, okay, what happens when this bubble does pop, you know, a few years from now? And sure, I'm going to be liquidating uh, my long positions that I have in the market. Sure, I'm going to probably scale out of my uh, short bond position by that time. Because I'm not sure how a crash would um, lead or, or how the price action would occur in the bond market at that time. I would assume there would be a rally to bonds, but who knows with all this wackiness going on. And, you know, a few years from now, there are a lot of people projecting that we will see some sort of uh, disaster. And they're not crazy people. They're not on the fringe like me. Uh, there are individuals like Louis Navalier, if I'm pronouncing his last name right, he expects trouble, like especially starting first with the inflation. You know, not like hyperinflation, but, you know, more inflation than we're accustomed to. The government can obviously hide the inflation via statistics. Um, there's Avi Gilbert talking about, you know, a few years from now, you know, we're probably going to see a decade slash two decades of a bear market, at least. So, you know, and he's not crazy at all. He s presents his argument in a, you know, rational and calm manner and you know that gets me to think what would be good investments in the next few years regardless of the stock market crash so if the stock market crash what would be good investments uh, number one um, buy foods that you know have a long uh, expiration date so any like canned foods you know that you don't open 
You know, you could buy Goa beans, you could buy, you know, a spaghetti cereal, right? Depending on the expiration date of uh, these goods, right? Always make sure before you buy that. So I think food is going to be the biggest investment. Suppose the market doesn't crash, you know, or suppose the market does crash, but, you know, the food stores are still open, you know. Okay, fine. But I think it's also going to be important to learn how to grow your food. And, you know, I thought this was crazy talk a few years ago, but, you know, look at the behavior of our government. It doesn't matter what party is, left or right. And, you know, I told a few friends, like, we got to learn how to grow our own food just in case some wackiness goes on, right? I've read history, and, you know, the way that things are progressing is not positive whatsoever. But we could turn it into a positive uh, experience in the meantime, despite of all the negativity out there. And in, in terms of other investments, right? What I will be doing, you know, for the few years, I want to look out maybe 10, 15 years from now, and I'm like, okay, stock market could crash, uh, but, you know, I could still make money 10, 15 years from now, and what would I be looking at? I'll tell you what I'm looking at right now, and yeah, I, I look at uh, miners, I look at uh, bullion, I have that stuff, uh, but besides that, you know, Potentially graded silver, uh, silver eagle, graded silver eagles. Um, that's what I'm going to be looking at. And also what I want to look at is uh, graded uh, cards that, you know, is not getting that much attention before this past week. Um, Tom Brady obviously won that game against the Packers. But um, this over here, this is a uh, 2000 uh, Chrome. I did this in my sports video. It may be hard to see. It's uh, one of his uh, Chrome packs, and in these packs, there are some cards that are pretty rare, and it's the uh, 2000 uh, Chrome Refractor, and those cards are going to go up in value, but sometimes uh, people grade packs, and I bought this, you know, for 500, 600 bucks, I think, and I bought the other one for about 700 bucks. And the way that I look at it is, okay, there aren't that many supply, or there isn't that much supply of these Brady Chrome Refractor cards, right? And if you look at the Michael Jordan cards, for instance, um, you know, there are quite a few packs. And still the packs, you know, PSA 9s, PSA 10s, they're priced like crazy. But if you look at the Brady's, you know, not that much supply because he wasn't a high draft pick. So... Long story short, I want to invest in items that have low supply and that will eventually have high demand. That high demand came this past weekend because, you know, Tom Brady's the goat of the goats. But, you know, re regardless of whatever you're investing in right now, assume the stock market's going to crash and then try to figure out what will have demand even if we have high taxes, even if we have a stagnating economy, and that's what I think will happen in the future, what will hold its value over time? And I'm fairly confident that this Tom Brady Chrome Pack PSA 10, population size right now of 29, that's going to be high in demand. So I, it's in my belief that these collectible goods will be doing really well in the coming years, even with the stock market crash probably that's coming in the next, what, three to five years. And, you know, we do know this for sure. America is on its way down. And most likely when the country is on its way down, another country will take over. And that's most likely China. And if you look at the Thucydides trap, right, this is Harvard research, or this is research done by a Harvard professor, and he claims that over the last uh, few hundred years, uh, there have been conflicts between superpowers, 
and many of them have lead to violence. Some of them didn't lead to violence. There's a peaceful transition of power from the Brits to the Americans in the 1930s. There was peaceful, there was no violence between the Soviets and the United States. There may have been skirmishes in Vietnam, unfortunately, and Korea, but there was no uh, nuclear war, which was a good thing. And I don't think China needs to fire a shot at this point. Uh, what China can do is let America disintegrate by itself. And by that time, China, you know, will take over. And, you know, if they can't take over, there's probably going to be a United Nations currency, S SDR. And at that time, you know, the American dollar should depreciate and lose confidence. Doesn't mean there needs to be hyperinflation, but... You know, with uh, the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar going down, it's probably wise to look at to collectibles, to look at graded silver. You know, I think that those are going to be next on the list. Too bad eBay um, has taken down many of the listings because of the new seller policies um, with the managed payment system. So I don't think you even see like Kidco on there anymore or AppMax. AppMax used to sell a whole lot of silver on there, but you know I don't see it anymore because of the new managed payment system. So, you know, uh, let me know what are your uh, thoughts about investing in the next 10, 15 years. Obviously, a few years should be good, you know, for the stock market. Some people may not even be looking at that. Some people here may be just looking from a week to week type trading philosophy, which is fine, you know, I'm just looking at it from a more longer term perspective. I do trade, you know, so there's nothing wrong in short term gains, but let's look at the long term and let me know um, what you guys think. All right. Thanks. Bye.